In this video, we're going to take a look at the idea of a limit and talk about its informal definition. Um, we'll also be taking a look at how to evaluate limits uh, numerically and graphically um, in this section. So this is an informal definition of a limit. So the way that we read this is the limit of f of x as x approaches c is l, right? So you can read c out there. Um, if f of x becomes arbitrarily close to some number l as x approaches c from either side, but not at x equals c. Now when it says from either side, this actually means from both sides, right? Both sides. Uh, not just one or the other, but this is like an inclusive either, so it has to come from both directions. And they have to approach the same number in both uh, from both directions. Now when it says not at x equals c, um, this doesn't mean that it can't happen at x equals c, but it does not have to happen at x equals c. So at x equals c, if the function isn't defined or it's a different value at x equals c, at the number that x is approaching, um, it doesn't impact the limit. So the limit is basically as we come from both directions, what number is it getting close to, but not necessarily at that number. So if we take a look at this here, we can kind of see what's happening in that situation, right? So we have this curve. So this curve is defined by f of x equals x cubed minus one divided by x minus one. Now, since the numerator has a factor of x minus one in it, what's happening is we're getting this hole in our graph. So our function's not actually defined at x equals one, but we wanna know what is its limit? Like what value is this getting close to at x equals one? So we can take a look at this both um, numerically with a table of values and then graphically sort of here. So if you look at, um, remember, like I said, we have to approach the value of x equaling one from both the left and the right, and then the y values have to be approaching the same thing. So as we move uh, closer and closer to one, so we're gonna pick values get, that are getting close to one because we know at one it's not actually defined. What is this approaching? So as our numbers are getting closer to one, we can see that the y values are getting closer and closer to three in both directions, right? As x gets closer to one from the right, this is getting closer to three. As x gets closer to one from the left, this f of x is getting closer to three. And we can see the same idea here, right? So if I'm getting close to one, as I'm here at about 0.5, we can see um, my the value of my graph is right here, right? So the value of my graph is right there. If I get here to like 0.75, you can see my graph is getting close, closer, right? Getting closer and closer to three. And if I get up to one, oh, at x equals one, it's not actually defined, right? So, but as I get closer and closer and closer to one, these y values are getting closer and closer and closer to Three. And that's not only happening from the left. If I were to look at this from or uh, from the right, we would see the same thing happening here, right? So it's coming down this side and getting closer and closer and closer to three. So even though our function is not actually defined at x equals one, we can see that the y values are coming closer and closer and closer to three. So you would say that the limit of f of x as x approaches one is three. So we could say this limit is there. So this is approaching three. It's not equal to three, but it's approaching three from either side. And this is the main idea of a limit.